Hey everyone, a lot of you will know we have a site full of team comps for TFT, but we also do these expert video guides to take it one step further. You can find all of our comps for set 5 on our website, and all the information like items, transitions, and positioning in the link down below. This comp wants to play an extremely tanky board with Brawlers and Abomination. The main carry of the comp is Set, who you look to 3-star by slow rolling or using the Draconic trait. His ability scales with things like Infinity Edge, making him a strong carry to hold attack damage items. This is a slow level comp, meaning you'll look to 3-star your set at level 7. You can choose not to slow roll, instead letting the Draconic trait help you find your 3-star. However, this might take too long to find set, so feel it out as you play. At level 8, you'll want a board that looks like Set, Heimerdinger, Nunu, Volibear, Ivern, Rise, Brand, and Warwick. Your win condition is simple. Find Set 3, along with your other Brawlers and Abomination units. If you find him early, it'll keep your HP and gold in a good spot, letting you spike at level 9 with Heimerdinger 2 and other powerful units. However, if you're taking a lot of hits early and not finding sets with your Dragon Eggs, you'll want to roll harder at 7 to stabilize with Set 3 and secure your top 4. Before finding your late game units like Volibear, Ivern, and Heimerdinger, you'll want to use the other Draconic units to find more copies of Set. So in this case, run Ash and Zyra. Zyra can hold items for Heimer while also activating Spellweaver with Brand. We don't recommend looking for 3 stars other than Set, as this gold is better spent on building your economy and accelerating your late game transition. Let's talk about your options if you find a Spatula. This comp doesn't use them that well, so if you find one early, it's best to greet it for a force of nature. If you're stuck with one late, you have a few choices that can round out your team. Spellweaver Emblem on Heimerdinger gives him more ability power. Even still, this item only gives the team Spellweaver 2, so it won't be better than something like Rabadon's or Jeweled Gauntlet. Renewer Emblem on Rise can let you activate the trait before finding both Heimer and Ivern. Then you can shoot for 4 Renewers at level 9 by adding Soraka. This will give your Renewers a lot of mana throughout the fight, and some nice healing. For Shadow Spatulas, the Abomination Emblem will buff up the monstrosity, but it doesn't matter too much where you place this item. Volibear is a fine choice, but you want to focus on a unit whose other items will also be good on the monstrosity. Revenant Emblem is my personal favorite. It can work as a replacement for GA on set, or you can put it on an Abomination unit for double the impact, with Rise and the monstrosity getting a second life. Either way, having this spat brings back Ivern and Volibear with way more HP, making the whole team tankier. Moving on to Shadow items, Guardian Fallen Angel is a strong choice for Set. The drawback's not too important since Set's a frontline unit and gains a lot of mana from taking damage, so the extra health from Shadow GA will let him get more abilities off. Sacrificial Gauntlet is one of the best damage items to put on Heimerdinger, as he only casts a few times per fight, letting him shrug off the self-damage. Shadow's Easy Rot Returns is a great item for your monstrosity. Toss it on Nunu or Brand and enjoy proccing the effect twice per fight. It only has 50% effectiveness on the monstrosity, but it's more than worth it. This item uses two components that your carry doesn't need, making it a safe early game slam that can protect your HP while you look for set 3. Shadow Morellonomicon is always a solid option as long as you have a unit that can reliably apply it. Volibear is a perfect choice, as he gets a lot of units with his ability, and is almost always guaranteed to cast via the Revenant trait. The burn damage is perfect for the long fights you'll see with your tanky board, and helps close out fights against hyper carries with sustain like Kale or Draven. Lastly, Shadow Blue Buff is fantastic on Rise. With exactly 50 mana, he'll continuously spam his ability if he can survive with low HP. Consider pairing this with a Revenant Spat or an extra GA. Moving on to general items, let's start with our main carry, Set. Set's ability scales like an auto attack, so items that give lots of AD will be strong on him. This will be things like Infinity Edge, Deathblade, etc. A defensive item like Guardian Angel or Shadow Guardian Angel will also be strong, as he is a frontline unit. Lastly, items that double as offensive and defensive like Bloodthirster are a great choice. A good 3 item build could be Infinity Edge, Bloodthirster, and Fallen Guardian Angel. Since this build plays the Abomination, you'll want your non-carry items going to Nunu, Brand, and Rise so that they end up on the Monstrosity. Tank items are best, especially things like Sunfire Cape, Frozen Heart, and ZZ Rod Portal, as well as their Shadow versions. Heimerdinger is your late game carry. You want him to cast often and cast hard. Items that let him do that are Jeweled Gauntlet, Ginsu's Rageblade, and Spear of Shojin. Since you find Heimer late, don't worry about prioritizing his items early, instead equipping him from late game carousels. Now let's break down our strategy stage by stage. You can start stage 2 with just about any units and look to either win streak or lose streak. Getting Draconic online as early as possible makes it much easier to get your 3 star set, 
so pre-leveling at 1-4 can be a worthwhile risk to find Ash and Zyra. For Stage 3, you'll level up to 6 at 3-2 and build the strongest board you can with the units you find. You can roll down a bit if you want to stretch a lead or stop the bleeding, but you'll get more mileage if you can wait until at least level 7 to roll. You need to have Draconic running, and would prefer to pair it with Abomination. Level up to 7 at 4-1 and roll down a bit if you need to stabilize. Then you can either slow roll for set 3, or continue leveling to 8 and rely on the Draconic Eggs to help you find set 3. The best choice depends on your lobby position, so try to gauge when you can afford to wait or when you need to get stronger ASAP. Moving on to stage 5, if you were slow rolling for set 3, level up to 8 after you find him. If you decided to rely on Dragon Eggs, level up to 8 by 5-1 at the latest. You can roll down if you need to get stronger and complete your comp. But if you feel like you're strong enough to go for level 9, then save your gold to close out the game. For positioning, the main idea is to have Set in the front corner, letting his ability hit as many enemies as possible. You can switch size if you want to target enemy carries, but follow our general positioning for the most part. Heimerdinger turret does best in the corner to maximize damage on its ability, as well as bait out enemy CC like Thresher Zyra. For early game positioning, take a look at an early board that gets Draconic online quickly. That'll give you everything you need to know to win with our One Punch Man comp. Remember, you can follow this guide in-game with our TFT overlay, so make sure you download that and bring it with you into your next game.